Welcome back to Drinking with the Fat Guys. Georgia Sean here with Big Fat Will. And we are drinking beers from Sweetwater Brewery, the 420 Strain Stash Box. Yeah, we're going to start out with this Extra Pale Ale 420. This is the original. And we're going to move on to the Insane OG Mexican Style Craft Lager. We're going to move on to the Mango Kush Wheat Ale. Then we will have the G13 IPA, and then we will finish off with the Trainwreck Hazy Double IPA. That's pretty. All right, we're starting off with this Extra Pale Ale 420. So this is a pretty common beer out there, especially if you're in the South, or if you fly Delta, you know, right? You'll, <laughs> run into uh, this beer. Hazy, gold. Hmm. I've never took the time to actually yeah. smell this one. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's so common. common. Yeah, you just drink it. Yeah, it's actually... It's like smelling a Boston lager. You're like, yeah, huh, you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a good aroma. Yeah, no, it's got... I mean, again, it doesn't have the... I mean, we already know the strain's going to have a very pot-like smell. Earthy. Herbal, no, earthy, it's a very earthy, earthy, earthy vibe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but this is a light dankness to it, very light. Yeah. Let's say it's very clean. So, I mean, it's got a very light bitterness. It is very crisp for being a pale ale. Yeah. Um, there is a little bit, I mean, again, a little hint of that earthiness in there, a little dankness, you know, but again, I mean, this is a, this is an easy drinking pale ale. I mean, uh, 420, I think, in this one was pure amusement as opposed to where they really took it in the other four. Yeah, I mean, when, when this one first came out, it was like the only beer that it's like, you, you had that smell and that taste, like, oh, oh I, I, yeah, yeah, see why they call it the yeah, 420. Yeah. But then they kind of just really hit that out of the park with the rest of these so th yeah. this one isn't as much you know anymore but i, I think it's still a yeah. good classic it is a classic and uh first conceived in our bat cave on 420 ha yeah ha drink them if you got them yep it's a good one All right, and now we're moving on to the insane OG Mexican style craft lager. Be real, what's part of this? Production. Oh, you can smell it as soon as it opens up. Wow, yeah. Uh, yeah. The aroma's very strong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Insane OG it is. Yeah, insane in the membrane. Hmm. Well, it's uh, hazy, shockingly hazy, yeah. uh, orangish amber. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a solid lager. So what? You know, I have to tell you, but I'm gonna be crazy. What it smells like to me? No, when you when you actually put your nose to it, it smells different than. Yeah. Out here, it smells like pot. In here, it smells almost like like a light coffee. <laughs> yeah, it does. You're right. <laughs> That's weird. Now, what about it? Hold on. I've had some weed that does that too, though. Back in my college years. Makes you think you're smelling coffee? Yeah. I mean, it, it just smelled like that. Like when you got close to it. It's so strong that, like, the once you start smelling it, and if you keep trying to smell it, it, it like, almost it blocks mellows you. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It blocks your receptors because it's so intense. Yeah. I can't I mean, but again. It's almost like a mix of a Corona and coffee, like when you smell it. Yeah. Interesting. No real significant taste to me. No. Yeah. Not at all. Like Corona. <laughs> Actually, it's crazy. When you poured it, it smelled like, I mean, I really was like, I hope it, the cops aren't here. You know, yeah, right? I mean, it just hits you in the face really quick. But 40 it's, years old, I'm like, we're the cops. You know, right? <laughs> it is like very, I almost think this is like a beach beer. Like This is, this is actually so little flavor, though, that I kind of like don't care. 
like that it's a because it's not it doesn't have like a, that corona or tecate or anything like flavor it doesn't yeah. have a budweiser flavor thing where you're just like yeah it doesn't taste great it just doesn't taste like much at all yeah it just has a very strong smell yeah i mean it's got a little bit of that lager kind of i mean you can, yeah you, know? you can taste like the lager well you know maybe the smell is so strong that it's like just doling out like the the taste of it like it's it like over be. you know yeah. over century up here and so it just, i don't know but you're right it just doesn't taste like much i mean it's just this yeah oh huh. all right now we're moving on to this mango kush wheat ale Oh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is much lighter. This is almost a uh, straw yellow. Yeah, kind of like a wheat ale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, hold on. This smells, is different. This smells interesting. Because you get a little hint of that pot, but it's definitely overwhelmed by this mango kind yeah. of aroma. And I'm wondering if when we open it up, if it wasn't as strong because like our nose just got used no, to it from the last time. time though. Ah, that's true. Oh, maybe it's just sitting in the air. Well, maybe not. You know, I I, I, I get both, but again, the mango overwhelming. Yeah. Actually, the other ones were, I mean, the other aromas were so strong, I was like, I get it. It's yeah. hot, right? But it's this mango, one, yeah. this mango actually makes it real nice. Let's see. Hmm. I don't taste much mango. It smells like it, but... Yeah, the mango, I mean... There's there's a hint of fruitiness to it, but it's a yeah. sugar-free kind of like like it's just the mango part with none of the sweetness or the flavor. You yeah. know, right? Almost like a rind. You know what? It tastes like a rind, like like a peel of some kind. Yeah, it's really weird when I when I took a sip, it's it like it instantly hit like the side and back of my tongue. Like I don't know. I guess like that's kind of like what a rind does. Yeah. I mean, just the the back side part. There's, a, there's, there's yeah. a hint of the flavor, but it's not sweet. Yeah. I mean, I guess, look, if you're not looking for sweet, this is great. Because there's only the hint of the mango. But um, there's also not a lot of any of the other flavors either. It's a very plain beer. Yeah. I mean, I love the aroma. In fact, so far, this is my favorite aroma of these three we've had. Yeah. Juicy mango notes and a distinct, distinctive dank nose. I mean, there's a little bit of dankness in there, but again... Not it, like the other one, though. Yeah, no, the other one is just... Again, it was so strong. But then it went away into that weird coffee kind of thing. Yeah. Delivering an ale with that fresh old factory bonus rip. I guess they're talking about the mango smell. Old factory would be related to the smell. I know. That's what I'm... No well, shit. You are the brains of the operation. Exactly. Unfortunately, he's the beard of the operation. All right, we're moving on to the G13 IPA. All right. <laughs> All right, so hazy. Yellow. Yeah. And again, this is so. This is the cleaner of this G like thirteen strain. Oh, the four twenty strain. I mean, I think it's is it called four twenty? Yeah, I it's, it's not. No, well. this is no. This is this is the only one that's G thirteen. But this this was the original yeah. one from like I think this is what kickstarted all of these. Yeah, this did. This is the one that really kind of kicked off and. That's why I thought it was called the G13 strings. Originally, it was that something like that. We'll have to find this out. If you yeah. know what we're talking about, somebody comment on this. Uh, set him straight. Uh, but <laughs> this is the cleaner one. Like the rest of them so far have smelled like some kind of pot. Don't get me wrong, some kind of pot. But this one has a nice, clean smell. Like I smell this and I go, all right, you know? Yeah. Hmm. It's not as intense either. Yeah, it's it's more it has more of the um, piney kind of dank taste to it, though. 
yeah, than the oh, other ones. There is a piney. Well, uh, but I mean, this is an IPA pineiness. though. Yeah, and there absolutely is a pineiness. There's yeah. the dankness in there, and then there's the pineiness. This is the one. I mean, again, so far I've not loved any of the 420 strain style. I would say. It's tasty. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, it's it, and I see what they're going for. Like, I mean, I think I think they nailed it with that. Like, you know, the four twenty strain. Like, yeah. uh, you know, uh, and because I mean, the the original was kind of just a just a hint of it. Like, you know, dipping their toe in the water, and then they're like, oh, you know, people like this, and so they came out with a full fledged, you know, yeah. pack of them. And I mean, yeah, I, I see what they're going for, and because this is four or five times the kind of dankness of the 420 yeah. extra pale ale. Yeah. I mean, it's it's interesting, you know. <laughs> All right, we're gonna uh, end this out with the Trainwreck Hazy Double IPA. All right. It's hazy. I mean, it's actually not as hazy as some of the other ones. Yeah, no. But it's almost an orange. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so this yeah. is, again, like that mango kush, there's a little bit of citrusiness, like, again, something more than just that dank pot smell. Yeah. I think the, the dank pot smell is gone after the first one, I'm telling you. I told you, it just, it, back to my college days, once you smell it, it just, it's all... You can't smell it after that. But I also think that we, I mean, because it came back with that G13, just not as strong. Yeah. So I think that the Mango Kush and the Trainwreck just don't have the same strength of it because it's overwhelmed by also this secondary flavor, and, you know, aroma, uh, mango in the Mango Kush. And of course, this has some sort of, again, citrusy orange. This one actually tastes really good. Yeah, citrusy orange hit first with like a boost. Full of vanilla and pine. Hmm. Hold on. You know what? Yeah. And the pine, maybe. The vanilla, I'm not getting. No, the vanilla, you can't taste it, but it mellows out the pine. So I, I hate pine, but it mellows it out. It does, but yeah. I'm trying to find the vanilla taste. You know, I like this one. This is, I mean, it's a really good beer. This yeah. is a really good beer. In fact, this may be the best one out there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's you know, nothing to shake a stick at at, uh, it's at 8%, but I think this is the better tasting one out, out of them all. No, but overall, this is a good one. Where are my miles, Delta? Yeah, not mine, apparently. All right, so we finished up this round of, of 420s and the, the 420 strand. Strain. 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 Roof. Okay. Anyways, um, I mean, this one's always a classic. These, all of these were interesting. I did like the train wreck the most, though. Yeah, out of the five, this is actually my favorite. Then I go back to the 420. Yeah. Um, this was palatable now. I mean, the first time I had this, you know, I was like, meh, right? This one was really interesting. It had a it weird, like, after you got through the pot, it was... Yeah, coffee. I mean, this is this is an easy drinking beer, I would say. Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. I would not buy these three. Yeah. But I would definitely drink that, and I would definitely So, drink yeah, that. I mean, Old Faithful and this new one, this is a good one. Um... These were interesting, but yeah. yeah. So, um, Thanks yeah. Thanks for hanging out with the fat guys. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up if you feel like what we're doing. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications. Cheers. <laughs>